Hi, my name is Lily. This is my classical conditioning project. The subject for this experiment is my little sister, Presley. The unconditioned stimulus is a stimulus that naturally and automatically triggers a response. <laughs> for this experiment, the unconditioned stimulus is getting hit with a ball. The unconditioned response is the unlearned naturally occurring response to the unconditioned stimulus. And for this experiment, the unconditioned response is when my sister flinches. The neutral stimulus is a stimulus which initially produces no specific response before the conditioning, but after the conditioning, it becomes the conditioned stimulus. And for my experiment, the neutral stimulus is a tone or like a noise that I do before I throw the ball. The conditioned stimulus is an originally irrelevant stimulus that becomes associated with unconditioned stimulus, which triggers a conditioned response. The conditioned stimulus for this experiment is the tone that is now associated with the unconditioned stimulus, which is getting hit by a ball. And lastly is the conditioned response, which is the learned response to a previously neutral stimulus. And for this experiment, the conditioned response is to flinch when she hears the tone. And that's even if I don't throw the ball. <laughs> so eventually when I play the tone and throw the ball multiple times, Presley will flinch even if she hears the tone without me throwing the ball. So before the conditioning, getting hit with a ball, which is the unconditioned stimulus, causes Presley to flinch, which is the unconditioned response, and the tone, which is the neutral stimulus, causes nothing to happen. She just gets hit with a ball. <laughs> so now this is during the conditioning, and the tone, which is the neutral stimulus, and getting hit by a ball, is the unconditioned stimulus are paired, resulting in a flinch, which is the unconditioned response, and this uh, process is repeated a number of times. Now the neutral stimulus, which is the tone, turns into the conditioned stimulus and causes Presley to flinch, and the flinch is now the conditioned response. Oh my gosh, stop! <laughs> she got used to the tone um, being paired with getting hit with a ball. Um, her brain automatically triggered like a response so that she would flinch when she heard the tone and that's because of classical conditioning.